Flamingo's Blood by Subnome Ejuice. So I met Subnome Ejuice at the Big Industry Show a couple weeks ago. It was a vaping convention. And it's just uh, one woman, she runs the whole show, I believe, maybe with her husband. She makes this e-juice, she makes four flavors. She does a great job with branding. These bottles are all different colors. The e-juice is not colored, it's all the bottles. Great marketing materials. The description says, Tiger's blood has nothing on the flamingo's blood running through Gnome's veins. A tropical kick of watermelon, strawberry, and pina colada will have you in a euphoric state until the last drop. So watermelon, strawberry, and pina colada. Let's see if I can get that. Now this is a zero milligram e-juice, so unfortunately I don't get to know what kind of nicotine she's using or how well it, it works in this e-juice. It smells like watermelon bubble gum, like bubble yum bubble gum. So for this review, I'm using the Noisy Cricket with the indestructible RDA on top. It's built at 0 0.78 ohms approximately, which should come out to something like 98 watts, I believe, somewhere around there, probably a little bit below that. Neither her website or her Facebook page mentions what kind of VGPG ratio this is, so I'm not really sure. I'm guessing that it's high VG because it, the consistency just seems like it's high VG. It's good. Not as strong as I was expecting it to taste based on the smell though. I can get the watermelon for sure. Maybe a little bit of the strawberry, but I don't think I taste the pina colada at all. Not as strong as I would like it to be, but I do get a consistent watermelon flavor. It's actually pretty good. It might even be the indestructible RDA. I've, this is the first time I've actually used it. So I don't know what kind of flavor it usually puts out. Hold on, let me try it in a different RDA. All right, I got it in the Mutation X. Also not a, a great flavor atomizer, but I'm familiar with it. I use it all the time. So I'm usually able to get a pretty good idea of what an e-juice will taste like out of this. Yeah, I think it was the indestructible RDA. I'm getting a lot more flavor out of the Mutation XV3, and I would imagine if you have a good flavor atomizer, you'll get a lot more flavor. It's actually pretty good. It definitely tastes like it's smells like watermelon strawberry bubble gum. I still don't taste any pina colada though. So unfortunately at the time of this recording the website isn't up for sub no me juice. Um, well there's a landing page but it says that the new site is coming June 1st. I'm recording this before June 1st so it might be up by the time you watch this. I don't know any pricing information aside from the wholesale information. I can't find any stores that are selling it right now. I did talk to her and she mentioned that a couple stores were selling it, I just don't know which ones they are. They're probably local brick and mortars, so it might not be online yet. She is out of Centennial, Colorado, so you've, if you live in that area, maybe you'll find this there. I'm guessing that the new website will have pricing information and you can probably buy it from the site, hopefully. She does have a Facebook page and she links to her website from there, so keep an eye on that. It's a really good flavor, but I really wish I could taste that pina colada.